Because however much we believe in the art, we believe in the theater, we support each other as artists, there are the negative things. Very you know, much career so. Career jealousies, mm -hmm. company jealousies, mm -hmm. uh, personal vendettas. Yeah. And we talk about you know, directors. We've all been with directors who are destructive. Right. And how do we deal with that? How do you deal with that as an individual artist and keep surviving and not be you destroyed? Because yeah. some artists yeah. are crippled yes, by that. Yes, yes. And yeah. sometimes uh, I've had an actor that I really couldn't work with and had to, but I mean, you know, you, you put up with it mm -hmm. for that production and do the best you can and go on and, you know, okay, on to the next. I do think it's, it's important hard. for young artists to understand there are, yes. there are tough times and you have to be ready to deal with that. Exactly. You have to be uh, hard. You do. The director has such a uh, clear view of what he wants and that's why you're I mean, in it. If you, I always wanted, the, I knew exactly if I couldn't get the people that I wanted, I'd wait. But sometimes you take a job as a director and you're given a, a cast and there's one person that isn't right and you will you know can you try this can you try that or whatever I mean I, I hmm. you get directors too that are like some that we mentioned that are destructive mm -hmm. um, but on the whole you have to go with the director it's his vision and uh, I know I with Guthrie um, he had me do several things, and I said, you know, I, I, I can't see my character do you know, I can't, why, wh what? Do it, you know, Guthrie. And then, okay, I would make up in my own mind why I'm doing it. I would do it for a purpose, you know, I mm -hmm. would then, I'm giving in to his will, but he's got, you know, the vision, he's got the what he wants. And a very talented man as well. An extraordinarily talented yeah. man. Yeah. Dear Guthrie and I, <laughs> um, were, I mean, we were great friends. If he'd asked for a cup of coffee, I'd be the first one to go and get it. But his idea is that the theater is a shrine and the audience comes in to watch this big thing. No! You have to go out and sell it. You're doing it for the audience. You're bringing that audience and doing things, showing them who they are. But, you, you know, it's the audience that's important. I mean, we have to be able to be so transparent and so clear that they pick up who they are and what's going on. Right. But he would do this shrine bit, you know. <laughs> and, I and did you have... Disagreements? Yes, uh, we did. Verbal with him? And he that? would, be, and Arabi won't agree with that. You know, he would say. But um, it was different, you know. And you were there for two years? I, I was there for two years, yes, but separated. 